Hello and welcome to Busy BDV. I'm your host, Lucas Weekly, and this week, well, before we get into that, did you like that new intro? Yeah, I've been working really hard on that. Anyways, this week we're reviewing one of my favorite airplanes, the Dynam Hawksky. So, before we get into seeing how this flies, let's take a trip down memory lane and I'll show you the history behind this plane. The first time I flew the Hawksky was truly the first time I've ever flown an RC plane by myself. At first I started taking off and landing the plane with its landing gear and then I shortly figured out how to hand launch the plane. Overall it was a great day and it was a perfect first experience for getting into the hobby. Shortly after I painted the Hawksky with the red color scheme. After I had painted the plane I started to learn what a tip stall is the hard way. I became more relaxed and I didn't put enough power in the turns so the plane would slip out of the air and nosedive into the ground. This is how a lot of my flights ended in the next couple of weeks. After I got that sorted out, I added a bomb dropper to the plane so I could drop parachute men and paper airplanes. With this plane, I learned a lot about how to fly, and I had a lot of fun while doing it. Okay, so now that you know the history behind this plane, let's check out some recent modifications that I've done to it. The majority of the plane is made of tape, as you can tell from my high-tech nose protector. One of the more major modifications that I've done to the plane is switched out the small brush with motor with a Microjet version 3. This supplies plenty of power to push the 2.5 pound plane through the air. I have carbon supports running through the tail, up the rudder, across the elevator, on both sides of the fuselage, and on the bottom running the entire length of the plane. The Hawksky is a four-channel airplane, so it has aileron, elevator, rudder, and of course, throttle control. I'm using a 2200 milliamp 3 cell push all the way up to the front of the plane. This is connected to a Y connector which runs to my ESC and BEC, and I have dual spectrum receivers for extended range. The bomb dropper is very simple. A rubber band is wrapped around a peg, the object that I want to drop, and then around the servo arm. Once I flip the switch, the servo arm moves out of the way, releasing the rubber band and also the cargo. So this plane flies great, but instead of telling you about it, I want to show you. One quick thing before we head out, this plane is too big and fast to fly in my backyard, so we have to go out to my local RC flying field to fly it. So let's check it out. With its 55 inch wingspan, it seems like it'll glide forever. In landings, I need to force it down to even get it close to the ground. It is also very fast and highly maneuverable. All in all, this is a fantastic plane, and I highly recommend it to anyone starting off in the hobby. There are a few things that I dislike though, like how when you stall, it tip stalls, making it very hard to pull out a low altitude mishaps, and how there is little space inside the fuselage. There are some other planes like the Hawksky that I would like to review, such as the Bixler and the AXN Floater, but until then, don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.